We would all like to make fast crypto gains even if the markets are dramatically crashing down. In this quick video, we'll talk about crypto trading bot on BitGet Exchange. I'm going to risk $1,000 of my own money and show you the results to see if an algorithm can actually be profitable or not. So even if you're a complete beginner and new to cryptocurrencies, you can follow along because we will talk about how to set the bot up, what is the critical success factor and how to solve the tricky part when it comes to making money with crypto trading bots. First, let's go on BitGet's website and under strategy trading, there are two bots available. We'll go with the Spot Greed trading bot. In the volatile crypto market, crypto bot can greatly decrease human mistakes because it is based on an algorithm and not on emotions like we humans are. And this is the biggest problem when it comes to trading manually. On a pump, a lot of people feel super excited, feeling FOMO, thinking that an asset will continue going up and up and up. And on a dump, everyone feels very sad and fearful. That usually causes that traders buy high and sell low. 10% of our trading decisions are based on a strategy, 30% on risk management, and 60% on our emotions. And emotional control usually comes only with experience. And trust me, experience in trading is not cheap. A lot of traders quickly get wrecked only because of their emotions, because they cannot stick with the trading plan. So even if we have a super profitable strategy, we still need to execute it according Accordingly. We will be using a great trading bot, which means that the program is going to automate buying and selling cryptocurrencies on the spot market and completely remove the biggest drawback from humans, which are emotions called fear and greed. Bot will automatically, without emotions, place buy and sell orders according to the strategy buy low, sell high. It works by placing several limit buy and limit sell orders above and below a set price. The basic premise of the strategy is to repeatedly buy at the pre-specified price and then sell the position when the price rises above that level. This grid trading strategy works best in volatile markets when price fluctuates at specific intervals. This way, grid trading bot attempts to make profits on small price changes. When the price drops to the preset target, a buy order will be executed and a sell order will be placed above on the next grid. When the price then rises again to the next grid, the sell order will be executed and a profit will be realized from the price difference. In the upper right corner, after clicking Spot Grid Trading on BitGet Exchange, which is currently top 7 derivatives exchange, we can choose what crypto we would like to start the trading bot on. I'll go with Bitcoin. On the right side here, there are two options. It's very important if we go with Normal Grid or Reverse Grid. The difference is that Normal Grid is very useful when an asset, let's say Bitcoin, is moving in an uptrend, and Reverse Grid when we are in a downtrend. Some people say that choosing which one to go with is a tricky part, but in my opinion, it's actually quite easy and I'll show you why. It's super important to identify what are the market conditions because we should always trade with a trend and within a range to ensure the highest win rate possible. So the first step is to find a range on the chart. Ranges can usually be identified after a big move because the reality is that 80% of the time Bitcoin is range bounded and only 20% of the time there are significant moves such as breakouts and breakdowns. It doesn't matter matter what time frame we use because they can be found on all of them. Then we need to find first three pivots after a significant move that are going to form a range. Let me show you a quick example. On the four hourly time frame in December, there was a very nice range formed. We have the low of the range, or we can also call it support level and the top of the range or resistance level. When there was another push down and then a small bounce, the chart gave us the third pivot for us to identify the range. So we can connect the two lows and the high. Also to note, it's always best to deploy the bot when and the price is in the middle of the range. So when we got a bounce and then the price is in the middle, we can start our trading bot. Second important step is to identify a bigger trend that the price is moving in. I would go on a higher term time frame. For example, if we used four hourly to identify a range on, daily chart would be a higher term time frame. To know what the trend of a cryptocurrency is, we can use market structure or moving averages. Uptrend is defined with higher highs and higher lows, but if there is a downtrend, there are lower highs and lower lows formed. We can also 
also identify a trend with moving averages. For example, if 50 exponential moving average is above 200, we are in an uptrend. But if 50 EMA is below 200, we are in a downtrend. Simple as that. You can play around with different settings to optimize them for the time frame you would like to use with the bot. Just go on trading view under indicators, type simple EMA cross and go with the second option from the creator gains. Then go to the settings and try out the different numbers and monitor the profit chart below. Because we are currently in an uptrend according to the market structure, which is forming on the daily time frame, higher highs and higher lows, I will choose normal greed. At the end of the video, I will also share with you what cryptocurrencies are best to deploy a trading bot on because not all of them are suitable for a greed trading strategy. Now that we know which greed we will be using, we also need to pick between AI strategy or manual settings. The easiest way to set up a BitGet crypto trading bot is to go with AI strategy. With this, greed parameters are based on the backtest data for the past seven days. The only thing we need to do using AI strategy is to calculate the amount of capital we would like to deploy to the trading bot. To know where the bot is going to be trading, there is a price range information. We can mark out the range on the chart to visualize exactly where the trades are going to be executed. Now we just need to fill in the amount of USDT. I will later go with $1,000 and simply start the strategy. Looking at the range that AI strategy identified, it seems like that we can potentially make it slightly better. That is when manual bot creation comes into play. Looking at the Bitcoin chart on the daily time frame, we can identify a much cleaner and bigger range from the lows at 17,500 to the highs at 25,000 US dollars. When identifying a range, it's best to give it some breathing room at the top and at the bottom because it often happens that there is a fake out out of the range. So we will fill in the numbers for the low and the high of the range. In a smaller range that AI strategy identified, it used 36 grids. So because we are using a bigger range with manual settings, we can also increase a number of grids. So let's go with 60. It says here that we will make 0.1 to 0.31% per grid, which is okay. More grids we use, smaller profit there will be on each trade, but there will be a higher probability that the profit will actually be secured. Before we fill in the amount of USDT we want to deploy to the crypto trading bot, I would just like to show you some advanced settings to be aware of. So let's click on advanced settings right here at the bottom. The setting we want to focus on is called grid order mode. This is very important and it depends if an asset is in an uptrend or a downtrend. Remember before, we were given two options, normal grid and reverse grid. If we went with normal grid, I would leave this option as it is on arithmetic interval, but if we would before chose reverse grid, I would switch this setting to geometric interval. That is because geometric interval is using equal price difference ratio and it's more suitable for an asset moving in a downtrend. Now back up here, we simply fill in the amount of capital we want to give to the bot. I'll go with $1,000 and click on create a strategy. On this pop-up, we can review the settings we just set and click on confirm. The bot immediately starts working, so now let's wait and see how much profit it's going to make. Of course, to start using these free trading bots, sign up on BitGet with the link in the description right now and secure your free 4,000 US dollars trading bonus because it will only take you 10 seconds. Because this video is BitGet crypto trading bot tutorial for beginners, we need to understand some key reasons why a trader, instead of trading on his own, would even use such a bot. Great trading bots have a unique advantage of making a profit in time of consolidating and choppy markets where there tends to be a lot of indecision and confusion. Every now and then, markets trade within a range, though they might still move widely within that range. Looking at the Bitcoin price today, it looks like that for the past months, this trading bot would be great because we've been range bounded from the low at 17,500 to the high at 25,000 US dollars. Rather than have our crypto assets hibernate along with the market, we can use great trading strategies to capitalize on a market where we may not have much conviction. The biggest reason and advantage of using a crypto trading bot is because it gets rid of emotions from trading. Anger, greed, and fear are some of the most common emotions, especially when money is involved. Greed trading bots operate on a specific set of rules, which lower the need to act on emotions in trading significantly and using a greed strategy is useful for executing disciplined and controlled trades. The third reason to use a grid trading bot is because it allows us to configure the settings manually, which can impact not only on our profitability, but also the risk level. For example, we can choose a strategy that yields small but steady profits, or we can choose to go for bigger stakes and chunkier returns. It of course depends
depends what number of grids we go with. Okay, now it's the time that I show you my exact results after using a grid trading bot on BitKit Exchange. After 2 days and 21 hours, I earned a little over $5, which is 0.5% gain on the account. It's not anything insane, but because I've been using a very big range, there needs to be more volatility or I would need to increase the number of grids I used. When we got this pull down on the Bitcoin price, the bot was buying and it's now selling on this pump. If there will be a breakout towards the upside, the bot will shut down because the highest price I set for the range is 25,000 US dollars. But if Bitcoin does see a rejection here, the bot will continue trading, buying the dips and selling on the bounces. Now for this profit to be generated with the bot, some things needed to properly play out. If there would be no major volatility in the market and the trend is slowly changing, I would make a loss. So it's important to note that using a grid trading bot, it's not risk-free. But there is still a scenario where not using the right bot, of course we are talking about normal versus reverse grid trading bot would still make us profitable. We would still be making a profit if the market goes against our position, but there is a lot of volatility. Because of strong fluctuations in the price, bot would still be able to open and close trades and secure us some crypto gains. The third scenario where we would also win is of course when the market favors our positions. That means we are using the right bot, normal or reverse, and an asset goes in the right direction with a trend. Before I show you one thing, that I would definitely not recommend doing when using crypto grid trading bots, I need to mention that creators of those bots, BitGet, secured a partnership with a famous football club, Juventus, and that is one of the reasons why I partnered with them to make this bot trading strategy video. Also, even if you are in US, you don't need VPN to use those crypto bots, and there is no need for KYC verification. So one thing I would not recommend is to use a different bot on different cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is the king of the cryptocurrency market and that is why we should always first check the trend Bitcoin is moving in. So if Bitcoin is in an uptrend, we would be using a normal grid trading bot. If another cryptocurrency, let's say Cardano, is moving in a downtrend, I don't think we should deploy a reverse grid trading bot simply because Bitcoin could bring Cardano higher and we would lose the profit, especially if there is no high volatility in the market. In that case, it's better to stay away from grid trading completely on Cardano because because the trend is not aligned with the Bitcoin's trend. But I would still recommend to diversify bots along different cryptocurrencies because volatility on altcoins is usually higher than on Bitcoin and that is why it would be easier for the bot to execute buy and sell trades. The best cryptocurrency to deploy a trading bot on are the ones that are primarily moving sideways or in a big range. Those ranges could be identified on different timeframes but it's always important to properly adjust the number of grids used by the bot. Always pay attention to the profit per grid number, where the lowest profit secured, in my opinion, should be at least 0.01%. If we go and look on the Bitcoin chart, we can very nicely identify a big range on the daily time frame. There is also a big range formed on Cardano, so both of them would be very suitable to deploy a grid trading bot on. On the other hand, looking on the Ethereum chart, on the daily time frame, it looks like it is going up very impulsively. Because of that, we cannot identify a big range on the daily time frame. However, zooming in on the one hourly, there is still a range to be found. A trading pair that is extremely volatile and has huge ups and downs while its average price doesn't change much over a long period indicates a good pair for grid trading for the long term. As we mentioned before, the last thing that needs to align is the trend that could simply be identified with moving averages. On top of that, we should always evaluate if a grid we are using with a bot is a good one and it's great if we look at more than just the profit that bot has made us. For example, if the price when we started a grid bot is the same as the current price and a bot made 5%, it can be classed as a good bot that yields well. If the current price is 20% higher than what the starting price was of our trading bot and our grid made 10%, it would have been better to just trade manually with one single order. But of course, when manually trading, there are other risks we should be aware of and there are still benefits of using a grid either way, as it always ensures profit taking and it's not emotionally attached. That is something which might be hard to do when manually managing trades. Now smash up the like button and subscribe for more interesting videos about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. 4,000 US dollars free trading bonus on BitGet is available with the link in the description and make sure you check it out right now. Peace out.